Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. I'm going to be address a very eminent topic about <coughs> the crisis we are facing today. Very often you hear rhetoric on the news or possibly in the newspaper or even in pseudo academic writing <coughs> that Islam is all about invasions, it's all about massacres, intolerance toward the non-Muslims <coughs> and the list goes on. This is very powerful rhetoric pumped out in journal, in poorly researched book, in biased prejudiced books, in news reports, on documentaries, all over the place. And the purpose is Islamophobia, to spread hatred of Muslim which is taking place right now in the West in particular and globally in general. So counter all of this powerful rhetoric against you. <coughs> and why do I call it powerful? It is powerful because today there is no systematic response to it. Unfortunately, we Muslims have been very slow in responding to this injustice. And one of the best way to respond to this injustice is to actually study your history. Learn about it so that you can talk about it. <coughs> Our history, the history of Islam is magnificent. It is amazing. It is mind-blowing. It is so fascinating that once you start to talking about it, you will start to think, where was I for all those years? We Muslim for over a thousand years let education in all field when i say all field you name it all the field available to humanity for over a thousand years we mastered all those fields and we thought them as masters as professors as lecturers as teachers you name it philosophy science whatever primitive form it was known to humanity in history medicine optics, surgery, any other field you think of, physics, chemistry, mathematics, astronomy, we can go on and on and on and talk about the Muslim civilization in Al-Andalus, <coughs> in Middle East, in Baghdad, in other places like North Africa, in Toledo, in Spain, in Cordoba. We have a very powerful history. We have a very magnificent past. The history of the Muslim civilization. We are proud of it. No one can take away from us. And we Muslims are the criminal for not studying our history. If we study what we achieved in the past and the glorious past we have the Muslim civilization, the best scholars, the best poets, the best military generals, the best intellectuals, the best institutions, the best grammarians. For over a thousand years, Muslim universities are the best in the world. We need to talk about that so that we can wake up to it. We have lost the plot and we have become the most bookless people on the planet. From a very bookly people, we have lost the value for books. And we have been affected by our cultural environment. We have been socialized into it. It's like a sheep following each other. Let me give you an example to make you understand what I'm trying to emphasize here is that that there has been experiment done by Stanford University in the United States and what they did in the experiment that they took a class and in this class they had three line A, B and C. One line was shorter than the rest. Actually C was the shortest line and they had a bunch of people sitting there in the classroom. And one of them was the test subject and the rest of the people was actor. And what they did, they asked a question that which is the shortest line? And all the actors, they pointed to the wrong answer. They said B, B, B and B. And the test subject, who was not an actor, he was sitting there and they asked him that what is the answer? And what did he say? He said B. He denied his own perception because of the social conformity, because of the social proof. 
So my brothers and sisters, I'm gonna give you the piece of advice which is absolutely free. Like it or lump it, because it's a loophole for you. That is stop getting satisfied by the social conformity and start using your own intellect to understand right from wrong. Let me say that one more time. That is stop getting satisfied by the social proof and start using your own intellect to understand right from wrong. And the first command which came to the Muslim was Ikra Bismi Rabbika Lazi Khalak Khalak al Insana Min Alak Ikra wa Rabbuk al Akram Allazi Allam al Bil Kalam Allam al Insana Malam Yalam The very first five verses to be revealed to humanity in the Quran were about knowledge, were about reading, about writing. Use a pen, use a books. It wasn't about design a cloth. It wasn't about building a skyscraper. It wasn't about buying fleshy cars or getting degrees so that you can have a nice house. The purpose of life is not that, especially for the Muslims. The purpose of Muslim life is to make this planet a better place by educating yourself primarily in your own tradition and then other traditions so that we can be a great contributors as we were in the past and it can be repeated once you learn about it if it was done right in the past it can be done right today so my brothers and sisters what i want you to understand is this take a step back and think about what i'm saying that you think doing a degree which is at best introductory you do not become educated by doing a bachelor's don't get this wrong degree is not the end it's the mean a degree which you are doing in the university is not the end people think that i'm gonna spend four years of my life and that's it my life of education is done now i'm educated right no, you're not educated. You're still a baby. You think when you do a degree, you are educated? No. Education is start after the master's. It is start after you do postgraduate. That's when you go into the depth of what you have left. That's when you start to explore more territories which you cannot understand before. So don't be satisfied by your degree which you have done for your stomach so that you can put pizza, burger or fries inside your stomach and get fat. Education is about feeding your brain, not your stomach. Education is about feeding your mind and to get wisdom. And what does wisdom mean in Islam? Wisdom basically means Al-Kawlul Munasib Fil Waktil Munasib Fil Makan Al Munasib the right word set to the right people in the right time in the right place. This is wisdom. Wa akhirud dawana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.